Hello YouTube and fellow Minecraftians and welcome back to yet another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be doing part 3 of Let's Build Sea Bridge. And we're going to be building a winery today, since specifically a winery. So let's go ahead and get started in a way. But actually before that, let's go ahead and look around what we got here. Uh, we have, I have built quite a bit on the stream. We have started with this house here. And I've done two streams and I have built this in the process. And as you can see, the roofs are variated, and there's different kinds of buildings around. I even have a vineyard here, so lots of cool stuff. Um, but yeah, this is what we got going. And so, th like, I have above each one sort of like a description of what what's going to be inside this building. So this is a rich family couple and three kids. Father owns the vineyard adjacent and owns the town winery. And this here is going to be the town's winery. Um, lots of cool stuff in here. And this is the base that we have. So let's go ahead and get started on it. So I'm going to start, but I keep saying that. Look over here. Our bot, Dukon is here. So I'm going to actually build a little bit of this. And then Dukon over here, my my little board guy who's charging right now on his little charging slot is going to go ahead and build it really fast and um, he'll take it from there but we're going to start with the frame that's what I want to try to get done um, is the frame while we're in the video here and um, yeah so let's go ahead and see what we can do um, it's a little late guys so my, I'm like kind of a little groggy so that's why I'm sounding a little, I repeat myself quite a bit, and yeah, it's just, ugh. But I really, really, really wanted to get this, at least this video started in the evening here, because I did not want to um, drag this into uh, tomorrow, because then I'd be spending my whole morning making this video, so I'd rather, I'd rather be doing it now, or a little bit of it now. So let's grab that there. And let's start with making our frames. Uh, the frames are important because that is going to tell us where everything is going to be. And another frame is going to be here. So it's two A frames, like so. I'd actually try taking this video. Um, I'm sorry, guys, I forgot I had chat on. Um, but I had started this not too long ago, um, and then I decided I needed to do something. Or... There I go again. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm tired. But video, video. That's all that matters, right? A video. Okay, so that does not work. We're gonna need to do this. We're going to go something really fancy. <laughs> Since it is a town winery, it can be fancy. So, yeah, so that we go. We're going to have that very tall A frame. What am I doing? There we go. So, there we go. I have a tall A frame there. And now this here is actually going to be a little like side thing. It's not going to be anything really too exciting, but it's going to have just, just a little bit of fun in it. Um, we're going to throw in a spruce planks here. And we're going to build out along this. There we go. Same thing there, and voila. So it's just gonna be that little like side bit there. It's going to um, take care of that. And how about we build some stuff like, hmm, how about some cobble? And cobble like that, okay. This will help give us some more detail here. Now, another thing that I want to let you know is um, f something that I have forgotten to say in my last videos is this map is made by Kevin. Kevin, aka Piglin. Piglin, Piglin. Yes, credits to Piglin. Credits, credits, credits to all around. Just freaking awesome map maker. Um, he just needs to make maps. 
this is the only map that I've seen him make. Um, but yeah, he's a great map maker. This is made by Kevin Pigland. Um, he doesn't have any anything that I can link him to, but if he did have a link to anywhere, I would definitely link him because he is a great map maker. I definitely love his stuff. And uh, but yeah, so that's that. But um, all right, so we have our basic idea framed down. And what I'm going to do here is throw in something there and there. And then make another little A-frame here. There we go. So another thing I want to do is when I'm making my frames of these houses, is you always want to connect them like this so you know exactly where it's all going to go. And then I'll fill in the roof and everything with um, uh, Dukon over there. Or the bot, a Dukon bot. We'll take care of the rest. And then I don't have to do anything. I can just sit back and enjoy it. If only it worked that way. Alright, so let's see here. Let's make something there and something there. There we go. Very nice. No, doesn't work like that. Just trying to brainstorm, guys. I'm not quite sure how I want this roof to be. It is, it is supposed to be a fairly large building, a big, large, big, big building. So I'm not quite sure. Maybe something like this. That's not bad. Same thing here. Okay. Yeah, I can do with that. So then we have plenty of stuff going on here. And then we can have another thing here as well. And this is actually, that's not good. But we can work with that. We can do something like this. Which isn't, yeah, that works, works for me. All right, so now that we're going to go ahead and start throwing in um, stuff like that. Well, that's the basic gist. You, you get the idea. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let Dukon fill in the rest and uh, we're gonna go ahead and time lapse it. So I'm going to stop here and let's get started.
Alright guys, and we are finished and the house is ready to be filled full of awesome stuff um, that we are going to make it into a winery. So first of all, I don't think I showed you guys this in the earlier videos, but this is the grindstone. You'd put the grapes into this little like thingamajigger here. And then someone would go around pushing this um, grindstone around. It would crush the grapes and then all the juice would go into the bucket or something. I need to make that a little better. I'll do that off camera. Um, but what I'm going to do now is go ahead and make the floor plan for this house or for this uh, winery. And then I will be back and we'll see um, sort of what to do. I'll probably break this up into portions as I don't really want to do the whole thing with you guys because, again, it's going to take a lot of time. So I'm going to go ahead and do the floor plan now and I will be right back. Alright guys, so I've gone ahead and finished the interior design, the interior layout of this building. Um, basically you just kind of decide where the windows are going to be. You put it one down below the windows so you have sort of like that ridge between the windows and where you look out. And there you go, you got your floor here and we got another floor right up here. So it's a three story building. Um, we got plenty of room up here for some random stuff. So maybe this can be storage up here. This is where all the winemaking would go on in here. There would be several like stations in here where people would make wine. And this is uh, down here is where all the like resources would be to make the wine. And then over here is where all the wine would ferment. And um, like this is where all the wine bottles would be in store for months at a time uh, till it's ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to start uh, actually with the wine room in here and we're going to just go ahead and just pretty much just spam wine bottles everywhere and that'll be our um what's going to go on so let's go ahead and do this no we don't want to waste that space so we're just going to do this along this wall there we go so hopefully you guys can see i might I'm going to go ahead and put in a uh, torch really quick so you guys can see fairly well while I'm building this interior. So there we go. we got a torch now. And let's go ahead and put some more wine bottles here. I'm just going to grab that. So one thing about building on this uh, part of the server is you don't have the everything on everything plugin. So the only thing that really causes problems on the everything is, first of all, trap doors if you place like a carpet behind it. it explodes or if you um, play to place try to place the biome specific rails they don't really work out too well either but that's no big deal you can always just work around that all right so there we go we got lots of wine bottles and we need more wine bottles so we're going to take our thing and move it over there and we're going to pretend that this is a two-sided wine bottle rack so there we go, and I guess we can put another one here. How far do we want to go? How about we go all the way to the end? And then on the sides, we go ahead and put down our, there we go, that's what we want. So this place is just full of wine bottles and it's, needs to be full of wine bottles because wine bottles are important because if you're if you're make if you're a winery you need to have plenty of wine to sell and all these are fermenting from like say these were made like a month ago and i also need to figure out how to make racks like how to make empty racks so that it looks like um there's like still some space to be filled so i don't know how how, how I am going to do that, but um, it would be neat if there was like open cabinets or whatever, like a bot, another version of this to be able to do that with, but there's not, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, that is our wine room. Let's go ahead and add in some detail and stuff, and this is just gonna be really quick. By the time I come back um, after this por portion, I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish a good bit of this and um, we'll get a lot done and then so when we come back you guys can just see the finished product and it'll be cool 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 
I don't have shaders on right now because shaders would just make it intolerable for the interior. Okay, stay closed. And what am I gonna put back here? I don't know. Uh, let's put a door here and then like make it a closet or something. So like a little closet back here. Let's put some stuff down like that. And maybe a cabinet like right there. No, a chest. There we go. And that'll do it for that. That'll do it. And then what else do we need? Ugh. This stuff drives me nuts sometimes. So it's like you gotta use this now. It's just redstone stuff sucks. It sucks. So we're just going to go ahead and grab that and we're gonna do I fire. And then how about some fire right here? Yeah, there we go. There we go, now we got some light. It's coming from there. So um, anyway guys, I'm just going to go ahead and finish the interior to this and then we can sort of walk through and see how the interior was done and uh, what kind of needs to be done, etc. And uh, hopefully you guys will get some ideas and some inspiration from it. And I'll sort of explain the process of how wine is made once we are done. But I will be back, so till then, see you soon. Okay guys, and we're back. And finally, I am finished this monstrosity. I kind of rushed the interior, but I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna try to explain to you um, what the process is to make all this wine and stuff. So first of all, this down here is the, let me just throw this out of the way. This is, oh, that needs to close. This is where all the wine is. Like this is where they store the wine. There's also some in the attic as well. But this is the place where all the wine is stored and um, it's kept here for months to ferment and uh, it becomes uh, drinkable and delicious apparently. Um, and then this is actually where they heat the water uh, because when you're making the wine in the process you need to make it, um, you need to heat up the wine. Now the only process that I read how to do was how to make red, red wine. But um, there's there's lots of ways to make wine, I'm sure. But the way that I, we're making red that we're making red wine, that's that's the, what we're doing here. So this is some heated water here. Um, and so what they would do is they could take it up uh, several ways. They could take it up out back, or they could take it up this way, take it up the ladder there, or the uh, the crane here it leads up to this next floor. Okay, so now this is where all the magic happens. So they would bring the heated water up and then they would uh, do some sort of, there's, it's really cluttered in here. That's some thunder in the background, so sorry for that. But uh, this is this would be like fermenting wine here. Um, they would have it closed and tapped and everything. And so these, these would be like fermenting for some days. And so this, they would pour the heated water into like a barrel like this. They would put in all the different ingredients and the ingredients would be in the chest or whatever and then they would put it in there and there's several different ingredients that you needed for it. And so once they got all the ingredients in there, they stirred it up and everything, then they would put it into, um, then they would cover it and let it ferment for some time. I think it's like five day process. Once it's done fermenting for five or so days, then they would um, siphon it out and put it into another barrel. That's what all these empty barrels are for. So they would siphon it out and put it into another barrel. There's really no way to make like little like tubes or whatever or whatever, but they would need a way to get just the liquid out because there'd be sediment settled at the bottom. And so they would just get the liquid out and put it into the another, another uh, crate over here. And then they would put more ingredients in it. And this is when they would actually put the yeast into the, uh, the mixture. And so um, this this the second portion, they put the yeast into the mi mixture. And so then that would uh, ferment for another 10 days. And then it would become the bottle process time. So then they would siphon out again, there'd be more sediment at the bottom. They'd siphon it out again into another clean barrel. And then the barrel would be, this is actually where it would be here now. And they would stir it and stuff. 
And then this is where they would bottle it. So they would take wine bottles and then they would put all the wine, the freshly made wine, uh, fermented wine into the bottles. And so that is how uh, that is made. And then they would put it over here to the corking thing, Majigger. And this is a terrible representation of a, uh, of a cork thing, but it gives you an idea of what it is. And you have some bottles around, so like the guy is here, so they fill it up with wine and then the guy just immediately comes over here and pops the cork on. And so that is how uh, that is made. And so then um, another thing that they could do is for maybe a different kind of wine, they would make a whole big batch of it and then they would put it into these big cauldrons here and then they would pour it in here and then they would let it ferment inside the big barrel for a long period of time. And so that would uh, ferment. There's two here, so that would be like for like, I don't know, white wine or something. I don't know what kind of wine, uh, some kind of wine. So they would squeeze it, ferment it, bottle it. And so they would store it down in that room down there or they would store it up here. And this is actually where kind of like a secret place is. This is where they would, like the mafia would be. And I kind of make this little joke here. It's just like a little dead man, like a little, they're like torturing this guy. They have like a little torture thing there. And, but this is where they would all play poker or whatever. I'm thinking about just making that a bird cage, like just putting a bird up there. And then they have some more, like these are up here. I'm just playing, I'm just playing on these, like being just open bottles. Like, so like they would come up here for the bottles and then they would come down and fill the bottles up and then they'd put the filled bottles down in the room down below. So that is, this is my rendition of a winery. Um, I'm going to put more grape vineyards around. So like maybe I'll fill up this section over here with more vineyards and such uh, along that side. So then it would be more realistic because you'd need a lot of grapes for an operation like this. And like, we'll pretend that the operation that they're doing right now is, um, uh, yeah, so and I just realized that I don't have shaders on I've been building in uh, Yeah, so there we go shaders are on I'm sorry about that guys uh, But yeah, this is what it looks like inside of shaders. It's very dark and bleak It's very dark in interiors uh, if you're using shaders So that's that's why I don't like using shaders when I'm doing the interiors so yeah, that is the winery and um, I will continue to build more buildings and continue to construct stuff. So I hope this video wasn't too long for you guys. Um, I'm not sure if you guys watched all the way through it or not, but we still have our little charging stand here for Dukon for our next time lapse. So um, anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, um, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Till then, bye-bye.